Hello, we are back again to go into a bit more detail about how to enable the legendaries. I noticed in the comments so far that there have been a couple issues with finding and changing all the necessary properties to allow them to spawn naturally. So let's get started. You are of course going to need the same two files as before, a uh, Pokemon 2.5.2.zip, which as you can see I've gone ahead and extracted here, and the H2 database console. Right here are my default settings, again this is just the path of you open up your Pixelmon 2.5.2 folder, click Pixelmon, then database, you can copy this into here, and then do a backslash followed by a capital P, Pixelmon 2. And then test connection, should say successful, yep, there we go. Alright, so yesterday when we were working with Mewtwo, we started out in the Pixelmon directory. Today we're actually going to do something a bit different, just to get prepared for, um, or pre-explaining some of the changes I'm going to do, I guess. Okay, so first we're going to open biomes. Again, this is just a list of biome IDs that Pixelmon uses to determine where people will spawn. Uh, today we're just going to be using desert again because it's simple, easy to find, it's flat, lets you see everything. I mean, it's just really convenient for the purposes of this video. Second, we're going to take a look at Pokemon spawn locations. Now. This is the ID again that Pixelmon uses to load. We don't really need to mess with that currently. This is the ID of the Pixelmon that's spawning, and this is how they spawn. Not where they spawn, but how they spawn. So they could spawn in a desert biome, but be in the water, for example. Or they could spawn in a desert biome and be in the air. Actually, this is a special tag, which is actually what we're going to change to allow Rayquaza and the legendary birds to spawn. All right, now we're gonna head back into our Pixelmon directory. And then go and press Control F to find and type in. Today we're gonna work with Articuno just because it's simple. All right, his Pixelmon ID is 101. That's pretty easy to remember, right? And you'll notice that he does spawn naturally in the game. And I think this is where some people are getting confused. They see this and they change it to a really high spawn rate. But what you have to do um, is after you change the spawn rate, you go into this directory, which is Pixel on Spawn Locations, we just took a look at it. Then you can type, or press Control F for find, type in 101, and you'll notice that it says Air Persistent. This is a special kind of air spawning, which I do not believe occurs naturally. What we're going to end up doing is just changing that to regular air, and that will allow it to spawn naturally. But anyway, back to the Pixel on directory. Oh, that moves. There we are straight down to Articuno. Oh, oops. There we are. Edit the database. Go ahead and press edit on Articuno. And remember, this is just going to collapse visually. You just have to scroll back up to where you were to continue working. There we are. Let's scroll over to his spawn rates. I'm not going to do anything with the stats today just because we don't need to. Um, the purpose of this video is just to show how you can allow these to spawn naturally. So we're going to set each of those to 200. And also we're going to be working with Rayquaza because I believe that was one, not another one of the questions that came up. There, Rayquaza is 249. So our two IDs so far are 101 and 249. I'm going to press edit on this guy. Again, it's going to collapse much further down this time apparently. Holy cow. There. Scroll over to his spawn rates. Set this to 200. I don't know. And 200. And save. And that's all we're going to be doing in the Pixelmon database. Now, what we're going to do is go over to Pixelmon spawn biomes and change both of these to desert. So, with Articuno, he, er, she, he is already in the database as ID 251. Here's Articuno's ID, and it says it only spawns on 13, which I believe is Ice Mountains. So we're going to go ahead and edit this and change it to 2, which is desert. And now with Rayquaza though, you'll notice that if you type 249, the only result that comes up is Pixelmon's spawn ID. And now we don't want that one. So what we're going to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom and we're going to add our own so that we can uh, allow Rayquaza to spawn in naturally. So just go ahead and change it to the next in line. That'd be 424 here. Let's say there's a Odd skip here, but I already tested with 424 and it works, so we're just going to go with that again. Followed by Rayquaza's ID, 249, and 2 for desert. Go ahead and save that. 
Then we're going to go right over to Pixelmon spawn locations, which if you remember is how they spawn. And you'll notice that if I type in 101 for Articuno, that is air persistent, which means that he's not going to spawn, or it's not going to spawn naturally at all. So all we have to do is just change this to air and save. Then we can go look up Rayquaza, who again is actually not in this database, so we're going to add him. 302, 249, and there. There we are. Let's double check to make sure both these are in here. Yep. And I believe that's all we have to do now. So we can just disconnect from the database, reconnect, make sure everything is still in here how we need them. We can just open up one of the databases and scroll to the bottom. If one of the changes is intact, it probably means all of them are intact. Yep. Plaza. Let's see. Yep, the spawn rates are still really high right now. Very good. You can go ahead and close this. Disconnect from the database. X that out. And close our H2 console so we can rezip up this. Open up Pixelmon folder. Right click, add to archive, zip. Again, it probably doesn't matter what you name it, but I'm just going to keep it this way for simplicity. By the way, I don't. I don't think I mentioned earlier, but each time you do an edit to the database, it doesn't have to be from a fresh install of Pixelmon 2.5.2. You can do a database you edited before. Uh, the first time I was trying this, it was actually with the database I used in my last video. So I went to the desert and there were a bunch of Rayquazas, Mewtwo's, and Articuno spawning everywhere. That's pretty funny. Um, but I just start with this each time for the sake of people following along. So we all start at the same point, you know, it makes it easier, especially with troubleshooting. Go ahead and get rid of all of our old folders from Pixelmon. And drag this into mods and load up Minecraft. We're gonna make ourselves a new single player world. So as a creative, more world options. I have no idea if this is actually going to work, but you know, we're gonna try it anyway. Let's call it test world again. Create world. So those five uh, databases we were working in earlier, those are pretty much the only ones you're going to need to edit right now. You can use the other ones for reference or if you need to edit like items and stuff, but if you're just looking to spawn in Pokemon, change their spawn rates, you know, where they spawn, how they spawn, those are the only ones you need to work with. And do note that if you're having an issue, make sure that the um, Pokemon, oh yeah, you can already see several Rayquaza spawning over there. Make sure that, oh and Articuno, hey, yep, everything is working so far. But uh, make sure that the Pokemon is in the database, because remember we had to add Rayquaza because normally he does not spawn at all, even if he does have a spawn rate. Yep, so those are the only two changes we made, and they both seem to be working perfectly. There are Rayquazas and Articunos everywhere. Uh, again, I hope this has helped you guys out some, and leave any comments if you have any issues. I'm always taking feedback too, and good luck.